Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's your man, and yes, it's me. I had locks. Cut them off because of the celebration. They got confirmation. Rain, water, rain, water, rain, water. Damn, you ain't shit, nigga. Told you. I knew you was a bitch-ass nigga. Bitch-ass nigga. Mm-mm. Hell no. Nah. Yellow belly. Yellow belly. I knew you was a bitch-ass nigga. Look at you. Soft. Couldn't fight, nigga. You wouldn't fight a comedian. Clown-ass nigga. They gonna fuck the shit out of you in, te in the penitentiary, boy. It's over for you, boy. Oh, it's so over for you. But, uh, Rico. Rico. Hey, Rico. My name is Andrico. You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? It's just so funny. Hey, Andrico. Rico. Ooh, we. Oh, allegedly. <laughs> but, yeah, all this is information is allegedly. What up, man? Good morning, y'all. This is Andrico McCatherine. Straight like that TV. Uh, this this shit started out good yesterday. Far as I was concerned, when uh MHB came out with the uh the receipt confirming that the you know uh, the, the 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 bitch that got hands that that they like sticking them out there and shit. Wow! Wow! Oh, like. That chick, yeah, uh, was fucking with Yellow Belt. So, basically, they were sitting here exchanging information. The, the sisters, in between the sisters. One laying up with three, one up, laying up with Beezy. So, they was trying to be locked down Dallas artists in that house, that household. So, they pillow talking a lot. Texting, picking up each other's phones a lot. And uh, getting that information. So I guess it boiled down to whose information ended up being the best. And that bitch that got hands. Hey, man. She was on her shit. She wanted her 10 bands. She wanted her 10 bands. Booty Bandit. Transvestite lover. Hey, man. You a hitter. So you do evil Knievel stunts on bikes, suck dick, fuck trainees with big ass hands, and get on highway with the sprint game with the right with the assault rifles and shit. Um, boy, ooh wee, ooh wee, ooh motherfucking wee. But rainwater, you bitch, you. You bitch you. See, I knew when I heard your bitch ass say you fleeced the motherfucking your ops for 600, you wasn't shit. See, I was smoking weed when, when it first aired. I was sober when I heard that shit. I said, hold on, wait a minute. Did that motherfucker just say ops? Did that bitch ass nigga really lose his job? Motive. He got all the motive in the world. This nigga not only, first of all, hold on. Let me help y'all understand something as, as, as criminals. I would have never paid that goofy ass nigga to do shit. That nigga fucked boys. That was an incentive to let y'all know that if he got caught, he was straight. He cool in or out. Trap, your ass escaped, boy. And you better hope you ain't got nothing, nothing to do with it. A dollar wouldn't went into it. Because your little good hair ass, they going to fuck the shit out of you, boy. But yellow, whoo, they love light-skinned boys in the penitentiary. Love y'all. And you's a soft-ass nigga, too. I beat him up. I beat him up. They going to fuck you. <laughs> fuck you up. And <laughs> fuck you, nigga. All day long, they about to stick some big round rod dicks in y'all, boy. And this ain't allegedly. This shit for real. You get Rico. I told y'all my name is Rico. Rico. 
Now, what the rest of them boys got to do with it? You girls, good God, y'all ain't shit. Especially you, Jay. Damn, bitch. That nigga came over there with y'all dusty ass bitches and showed you love, treated you like a little, a, a little hood queen and shit, maybe a little level above. And you go set this man up for some punk ass money. The world we live in today, man. I got to actually get serious, man, because that's fucked up because he left behind three kids. Now, what I will not condone, well, I will not just go over, skip over like there is, it is non-existent, is that the fact that, which I've always said since my very first blog, I don't give a fuck. I've always said, man, the shit was in the street. So, I don't feel sorry for Mo3. I'm rejoicing for him, for real, because he ain't got to go through all that extra shit. You know what I'm saying? He ain't got to... Melvin is home. You know what I'm saying? That's that's just how I look at that. He, was, he, was, he, he did everything he wanted to do in life. He definitely did. Listen to his music, and it's all in there. His kids straight, he left a message to his baby girl. He left a message to his baby boy. He, le he also left him with a receipt. Y'all got to understand, three was cold, man. He also left that little boy with a receipt. So, this shit, even though it's about to be over in terms of you know, the case, you know, getting all the players together, but there's life after this. There's music after this. Trap Boy Freddy. Just when you think you're going to be able to grow and get old, man, it's going to be a young motherfucking dude. The luck probably ain't, ain't never going to be in the streets. This little guy. It's going to want your motherfucking head. And he's going to have to have it. And the funny part about it is, is that they're going to have the common decency and courtesy to show you their eyes before they do it. See, you motherfuckers is bitches, man. Hate should never be that strong, man, to where you got to kill a person because of your shortcomings. That's crazy. Three was a motherfucking stepper. Let me get back to that. Because I'm not going to overlook the fact that he he did all that. He did. He was a monster. Y'all made him be that though. Y'all forced that boy into a corner. Y'all turned Melvin to uh, Mo3. Mo3 into Osama 3 motherfucking Laden. This man had to become three people to deal with you niggas. So, you reap what you sow. He tortures you niggas in life. And he's haunting you niggas in death. He fucking y'all up in death. They still, see, see, the, the beauty of it all is, is that, Trap Boy, your music will be never played again. You understand me? It'll never be played again. And for those who play it, it'll be through an affiliation association. And they'll be scrutinized too. See, because he's a dirty motherfucker. He's a dirty little motherfucker, man. I had to go back and look at all the things. Uh, the little three-part thing that uh, my boy, shout out to Polar, T3 the Polar Bear. My, 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 my boy T3 the Polar Bear did them, you know, the tribute to Mo3, the highway, highway, highway for highway thing. And man, it was part, it was parts in them videos that I never even saw. I said, damn, Dallas hated that boy. Dallas, y'all ain't shit, man, for that. For those of you who, who did that, who turned that boy like that. And you niggas down there supposed to be some OGs. 
y'all fucked up. See, because the same conversation that I'm having with these niggas, y'all could have been had. Trap boy, if you need mental motherfucking mentoring, hey man, I got you, boy. I just need for your hands not to be tied in that shit and for you to do what I told you to do a week ago. See, because you're going to have to leave Dallas. Oh, clip, nigga. That shit dead. Mm-hmm. That shit dead, y'all. Oh, they claim the hoods and shit. Oh, yeah, it's over. It's over. But Mo3 left. A message for everybody, man. He knew he was gone. Mo3 made, Mo made his peace here. He said, I live. I'm tell my daughter, don't trust them little niggas. Left a message to his son, like I said. I'm not going to decipher that, what I deciphered out of that. And, and tell y'all, but that young man has a, uh, he has a lot of decisions to make when he gets older. Provided, you know, God willing that he gets older. You know, because him knowing who his dad was and, you know, tragic incidents happen to where people get up and kill themselves and all that stuff. They don't want to live because their parents got took from them at such a very, you know, at an early age and shit. So I'm rehydrating my face. Hair breaks my face out. So I didn't, you know what I'm saying? But my voice is mine. You can see my eyes. And uh, this is my damn channel. So shout out to MHB, man. I had a... Uh, Messaged you under my daughter's mother's uh, profile. I didn't realize I wasn't on my shit. Congratulate you, bro, for being able to expose that shit. I'm glad it was you because you was the leader on the case, bro. And you brought out the, you know what I'm saying, not the damning information, but for, for what I was concerned when I saw it, I said, what the fuck this nigga got? What is he about to produce, man? What, 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 what the MHB about to pull out here? And then we was driving down the mountains and shit. Can you send me that picture? I won't put it out there. Or maybe I will. But I won't. You know what I'm saying? Because I want to see it, man. I'm like, really? I got the picture of the bitch and the nigga. Oh, my God. Not the shooter and the driver. Okay, so that was good shit. It makes me on, 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 on some serious shit. I'm glad it was you. I'm just glad it was you. You know what I'm saying? I'm glad nobody else got to do that because they'd have tried to tear your ass up uh, on the internet and I'd have had to only be covered. And I think I'm about the most brutal nigga uh, blogger out here. I should have called myself most brutal blogger or most blunt blogger. Period. Because I'm a buck with this shit and I still beat a nigga ass. <laughs> Did I tell y'all I'm almost 50? Hey, Y'all better learn how to motherfucking fight, boy. All right, hey, BZ, I hope that while you sit here running around with champions and shit get... Woo! Look how, look how deep this shit with champions and shit. I ain't even, I didn't want to touch that part of the shit, so I got to get on my homework, y'all. I just wanted to say, damn, man, rainwater, girls, yellow bitch, trap boy, key one, the booty bandit. Keep hope alive, niggas. As long as these motherfuckers like you in the street, man. Whoo -wee. Man, we know we got work to do. It, we know that. What this just told me is. That as an OG. As an OG. I need to get out here. And talk to my little brothers, man. You know what I'm saying? I need to get out here and talk to my little brothers, man. Because I have influence. I really do. Uh, 
I don't, I don't want, I'm not even going to get into that. You know what I'm saying? Like the past, let the past be the past, but I'm still affiliated. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know the saying blood in, blood out. So, you know, teach one, reach one, reach one, teach one type of shit. So I'm going to do my job and get out here and start talking to these brothers, man, because we cannot have this. We can't have another episode of this. King Bonds and 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 and, and Mo Threes and, and and you fuck the Quando Rondos and them life fucked up and you got you like I knew something was wrong when Bobby Schmurder did that shit in his video. I said, man, what the fuck is this? This better not be the new way, niggas self snitching. And lo and behold, the fuck it is, man. This nigga got his good. I ain't used to having money broke ass on the motherfucking internet with not only the money. He got the money, the motherfucking security camera with the car and on the security screen. <laughs> with the car in the garage, though. What the fuck is wrong with you niggas? Y'all got away with a body and you destroyed your, you, you brought down the whole shit, Kiwan. You, you, you brought down the whole shit, yellow bitch. You got this nigga in your picture of security and you see that's when you certain jobs you don't have people that's close to you do you dumb motherfucker. Y'all supposed to outsource that shit. Bring motherfuckers in for those missions, dog. Not use every motherfucking resource that you have in your motherfucking camp, dumbass niggas. Trap boy. <coughs> A motherfucker knew you didn't have nothing to do with it because you damn sure ain't, then don't look like this. Like no motherfucker that's going to do this and walk up to nothing at all. You can't talk. Your pronunciation is fucked up. You were so happy that that boy was dead. You jumped your punk ass on the highway. I said, what the fuck is he saying? I had to pull up the caps just to understand what you was saying. I said, this nigga happy and not. He did have something to do with it. I said, that nigga ain't had nothing to do with that shit on the highway. I said, now they can, what, what he did was they going to confirm is this nigga really dead so we can come outside. He outside with his shirt off. A motherfucking hair. He done put his best chain back on. That nigga wasn't wearing certain chains. Like, fuck this. I can't. Mm -mm. No. Was well, this nigga running around here acting crazy and shit, being, being what we done turned him into. And, and what's funny is, I can sense the hate in you. Because you said that, and I quote, that nigga would do anything to be number one. I'm talking about three. I said, nah. But you would, though. You would. And uh, you would have your shot at it now. You're going to have to revamp, though. You're going to have to do something different because it ain't going to be through the music. Dallas ain't fucking with you, boy, after this. you have to leave your city, my nigga. If you ain't left yet, something wrong with you. If you ain't start making preparation to get the fuck up out of Dallas, Texas, boy, you stupider than a motherfucker because you don't run shit. This shit about to fall down like dominoes, baby. Now, I have to do a full report. Like I said, I really jumped up on this motherfucker because uh, one of my subscribers, shout out to my subscriber, uh, woke me up with the ping and shit. And like, man, we just got confirmation that this nigga done donated. 80 racks to put on that boy head. Blase, blase, blase. And uh, I felt that it was worth mentioning. And for me to get up uh, and start doing my homework so I can get some good content for y'all. And 
for those who are uh, interested or not, I am about to make a broad attempt at covering one of the rappers that, where the hell is it, damn. Don't nobody want to cover it. I see why, though. I ain't going to lie. Cause they got a little young nigga's name uh, all on it and shit. You know what I'm saying? This guy with the soul of his eyes. But uh, I'll, I'll make that known in a minute. I was doing my homework on it. And I'm like, why ain't nobody touched this? And as I started reading the news reports and stuff like that, all the gang ties, affiliated and affiliations and stuff. I said, I could see why one would want to, but if you do this shit in the right way, man, I feel that, you know, motherfuckers shouldn't, you, you shouldn't be, you shouldn't get killed for doing your job. Unless you're the police. That's a 50-50. Cause you already know what it, you know what I'm saying? What type of shit you getting into. Not saying that, you know what I'm saying? Don't take that the wrong way. I'm definitely by no 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 way, shape, form, or fashion advocating uh, no shit against the police. Shout out to the police. Um, yeah, but the, if you, unless your job is, you know what I'm saying, being a police officer, a U.S. Naval officer, you in the, you know what I'm saying, you in the services and stuff, armed forces and shit. So, yeah, people shouldn't be getting killed for doing their jobs, man. Families need closure. You know what I'm saying? And that's just that. And I'm not here to be no snitch. So I'm just here to 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 cover some good shit about these black folks because the reality of this situation is what people need to take out of this is that thank God to us bloggers, most hated blogger, T3 the polar bear, uh, a, a couple other good ass bloggers. I don't fuck with y'all to, to mention y'all, to give y'all that. So, you know what I'm saying? But... Mo 3's story stayed alive because the news damn sure wasn't playing nothing about it. So to all the families, y'all welcome from us bloggers who put our lives on the line because we definitely getting threats and, and this, that, and the other about uh, what a motherfucker gonna do to us because we out here doing this. Won't y'all find something else to do? Bitch, I ain't even monetized. I don't have enough subscribers to get no money. I need a thousand subscribers. So can y'all please like, share, and subscribe, man. I understand that I don't get to go live and all that other shit, but you still can donate. I still can shout you out. You know what I'm saying? So to do so, it's dollar sign. G-I-V-E-M-E-Y-A-D-O-L-L-A-R. Up until the point to where I can go live, where y'all can... If y'all... Once I get... I'll get there. I'm going to get there. And once I can go live, we're going to have some live-ass shit to talk about. I can't wait to interact with y'all, man. But let me get off of here. I got to rinse my face and eat breakfast and shit like that and get y'all some good content, man. So thank you to that subscriber who woke me up and gave me that information. Shout out to MHB, man. You did a wonderful job with this shit, man. And the rest of the game. This is Andrew. I'm going to cap on straight like that TV. I'll let y'all. Rainwater. You bitch, you. <laughs> well, may God have mercy on us all.